Back, back, backing it up. He the king of talking what, and that's what's up. Something like that. Did I say it right, yeah, Parker? Something like that. <laughs> Close enough. Hey, Parker Sifarte, back on the Quicksilver Show. What's up, sir? Hey, how you doing? I'm doing amazing. First and foremost, congratulations. I see backing it up is officially platinum. You got the platinum plaque? Officially. They dropped it off the other day at the SOB show, so it's official now. So you officially have some hardware, as we call it. Officially. All right. In the books. Now, of course, man, Parker Sifarte, you have the new album, Underrated. Mm-hmm. Underrated right now. Uh, please explain the title, Underrated. Why do you f- feel as though you're underrated? I mean, there's a, it's a bunch of reasons. I felt like uh, this is my debut as like an artist, you know mm-hmm. what I mean? And I felt like people really didn't know what I was capable of, you know what I'm saying? I really didn't know like who I was, so I felt like they underrate me in that aspect. Two, it was just like a common theme that I kept seeing on all my posts. Every time I dropped, well, I dropped the Peach video, people like, yo, he's mad underrated as an artist. Right, I right. dropped the Shea Butter video, yo, he's mad underrated. You know what I'm saying? So it's just a common theme. And then on top of that, I knew um, coming out that this project wasn't going to be like the most hype. You know what I mean? I know it wasn't going to be a bunch of people like, oh, this is coming out, this is coming out. Well, Artists and so, Fontaine is coming out. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? I, did, I knew it wasn't going to be like that, but I knew anybody who got to actually listen to the music and sit and get through it, they'd be like, yo, this dude is definitely underrated and definitely should be in the conversation. I noticed you said, some people said that you're underrated as an artist. You think that's because they know you as a writer first? I feel like I feel like I, I was introduced to a lot of people as that first, but... um. They didn't really have a chance to know me. Mm-hmm. And then the first record that they did hear from me, I was with, I was with like a huge superstar. You, you were Cardi me? B? Absolutely. Right. So um, so it's like uh, they don't know just me. They don't know me standing alone. So right. it's hard to judge. For those who might not know, uh, of course, uh, you say co-wrote, but you definitely co-wrote a lot of Cardi B's biggest records. And she's nominated for Grammys as well. I tell, I'm going to tell you, like I, I, wrote a lot of, I wrote a lot of stuff that people don't even know. You mm-hmm. feel me? Like... Like uh, we are farmers. Dup, 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 dup. Commercial? Yeah, you know what I'm saying. That's where you got all that bling from. That Every ain't from kiss your songs. begins with K. Like all of these are me. Like you feel <laughs> me? And people don't know that. Right. So, so it happens. A very successful songwriter, not with just jingles and with artists like Cardi B and mm-hmm. others, but now you have your own project out, underrated. And of course, uh, one of the singles that I really love, Shea Butter. Facts. Can I play that right now? We talk Absolutely. more about it. Absolutely. Let's get into it. Every day I wake, wake, sell.